Hi guys, it's me Adam. Welcome back to another video. Today I will show you guys how to make a really good Roblox thumbnail. So first you want to click on new. Well um guys I need to tell you something very quick. If you're gonna make what I'm doing, um uh, you need to go to any link and go to the one I'll leave the link to a tutorial below from a nice youtuber called um Creek Club to make this image. This image will be complimentary. So yeah, um just watch that video and you should learn how to do that. Um, you need it, it's essential, so do that before you start this video. Anyway, you want to make a new file, and it has to be pixel by pixel, 1280 by 720, you can name it whatever, so I'm making a video on spa, um, Escape Grand Dad Grand Dad Obby and so that's the thumbnail. So just click on OK. It should give you this. Now, to make the kind of thumbnail that I used for my other video, I just fill this area in. And as you can see now, it's completely um, black colored. Now you want to go double click on your layer and you want to click on your stroke. Now, on the stroke, um, you want to make it inside and make it let's say white and so the I will go for 15 pixels so just click on OK and now I think I'll switch out I kind of forgot I'll be back in just half so guys I'm sorry for the quick calls I just remembered I was looking over my little paper I had all these stuff that I need. Um, so basically, you want to right click onto your layer with the um, thingy. You want to click on rasterize layer. Wait, style. You want to get out your magic wand tool, which is just right click on um, here. Magic wand. I'm using CS6 Photoshop. Um, so you guys can download that from. You can watch free tutorials or whatever. So you want to see how see this? Then make it click on see V. And as you can see, they're making it worse. And I can right click and delete this. Yes. So there we have that. But to make it look like something that I will make, I would um, use a stroke on this again. So basically, double click, click on the stroke button and make this an inside uh, what? outside then um, so make it like make this one also 15 <laughs> so guys so that's more interesting somebody was there so, Hey guys, I think I need to be back. I'll be back in a second. I just need to check those instructions again. Be back. So basically, you want to go to your color overlay. This is how I do mine. I click on my color overlay and change mine to the color I like. Um, if you guys remember my other video, for um, it was kind of this, not this blue, little bit like that. Look at that. Yeah, that's good. So now we go to stroke, yeah, yeah and we want to make it outside, we're going to make this also the same because, yeah, and we're going to make this one white. So there, we've got this part of the video done. Now, we need to go to your Roblox, I'll be back after I log. So guys, we are back onto my Roblox account, so now you want to Google search your um the game that you're making it on so mine is skate when dad obby by pax teller and then not in players 
Ctrl-C. So now you want to type in preview into the games catalog. The games category. Okay. So you want to look for the one. If it's not there, just search the person who was hack stabber or bees. So I'll search the group. Yes. Here it is. Here it is. Escape Grandpa Ob. So, um, you want to click on your play button. Open your Roblox application. So, wait for that. Uh, it's on full screen probably. I understand that. So now, you want to kind of. Ah, oh, that's sick. And I want to find like a good like thumbnail to pick to like make it good looking. Just make it like this, and then ooh, maybe just make it like that. Three, two, one. Then press print screen. Let's look for your keyboard. Um, now we can. Leave our Roblox game, go to our Photoshop and paste it in. Okay, so now we've got this. You can use the rotate tool to kind of drag it into like a position that's good. Like this. Um, so now we'll just drag and drop that under here. Yeah, so that's good. Um, if you want to have it for the extra style, I would recommend that you click on image. I think it's somewhere here where I'll probably find it. Yep. Where did go? Oh yeah, filter. And then blur. Gaussian blur. I give it like a nice some point of Gaussian blur. Okay, now it's time we open a thing or two so well, this is what I keep my written. so you want to go to where you save that unrendered image and that other that quick craft thing and then you want to click on your video.png and that opens up your character click on CTRL A CTRL C now go back to here and paste it in now it might be a little bit too big so hold CTRL and press T now hold down your shift key and shrink it down to what you want it to. Um, I don't like this, so I'll keep on shrinking. Yeah, I think this is good. Um, so yeah, now you can just press on enter. Now to get the Roblox logo, that's my last one. So you want to open. So just Google search a good Roblox logo. Um, I'll leave a link to download the one I have. Um, I'll post it on media file so you guys can download it. Um, you want to click on your picture. Wait, wherever you saved it. So mine's in thumbnails, gradients, lol. Um, mine's this. You just click on open and it opens up in a new tab. So you go away, so you go see. Paste it in there. Now, if it's too big, so you go T. Hold down shift. And now start sizing it down to just about fit the screen. So mine should. There is no ideal size for anything. Uh, yeah, I would say this. I'll hold down shift. I'll always remember to hold down shift, otherwise, it will give it a bad thingy. So now that we've done it, press enter. Right click on this. If it Double click like before. Now I'm gonna give it some cool effects. So the way I do it, and you guys might be uh, might have been wondering for a long time how I've done it before. So I click on my color wheel and make this white, and then I go to my stroking thing and make it. Not super larger, but just about that. And make this something really red. Now you guys will be wowing. 
And actually, we forgot to do something to our little man on the side here. Um, we can double click at the stroke effect, and you can make it highlight my seven pixels and white, so it kind of stands out from the rest of the crowd. Yes, I like that. So now, the way I make it like have more red, I hold C T L and press J. And I drag this to the bottom, so then I know that this is the other one. Just put it back. Now hold C Shift and press down once, twice, and twice. If you want, you can make it one like that. I like it like that. Um, now, okay, just do like that. Um, now, and just let's go around. So now I what I do I double click and do effect and then on this the color overlay will be completely red. Yes. Now you guys will be surprised. We are now done. I guess. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so now we'll just grab our little man. And put him over the top of it. If you want, you can kind of put it. Put your teeth, size him to make him bigger. Oh, your teeth should have to hold shift to maintain um aspect. Okay, that. Uh, that. Now to get the text that I need, I use this font called Heroes. I'll leave a link to this as well. The Heroes Legend. So yeah. This is font. So I'll leave a link to this font in the description as well as the pick for the Roblox logo in the description. But anyway, now you want to tap your Roblox logo. I've made mine and I've always made mine. 32 pixels. Um, so, yeah. That is a good thing. And now you want to put the uh, now just put the uh, and then I'm just gonna put escape for now and then click on enter. But not like that. And I just click. Down. And now you can move around. Yeah. Escape. Move tool is used, and now we can drag this across. But we need to do something. We need to color it like I do in mine. So I think I remember this. Yes, I do. Um, which is good. So you just double click and then put a gradient overlay. And so here, I'll switch here to that and make it scale just not so much, but just like this much. And then I go to double click on that and then I make this the color I and mean, you can change this I make this kind of this kind of blue so just put that up there and then make this a kind of purplish color this kind of purple is one of my favorite colors and then click ok now you can try dragging the color pointers down the ingredient but this 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 one okay okay and as you can see we put that now we need to add a stroke effect so double click if you want to you can i like making a stroke effect oh we've been going for a long time now so we want to click on the stroke button and make this about seven yep and now we can do called j to make another one and Double click to edit, I think. How do you edit this? Yeah, here it is. And then I'll just make it say grand. Pa! Okay, now mm. this is neutral, so you use this down. I don't know how to edit this, so I'll be back when I learn how to, when I remember my. So, guys, I just remembered. So, basically, you just need to get your text tool. And then text tool 
into the stoke of American Edifice. So I'm going to make my grand car. Okay, then. And so now it's going to say, oh, see. Can I? No, no, no. We don't want that. Now, just click on enter. Oh, not like that. I'm just going to click on it. You can duplicate it one more time, which I would like to do. And so, this is drag this under. Use the text tool, double click, and make that say all oh, these. This is what you're doing. So, um, now you can just click on enter. I like that, and then that so, Um, you know, and if you want to, you can detail P1. Hold shift, make it small. I've only ever had to do this once or twice, so yeah, yeah. Um, you do the same with the other layers. So grand car, hold shift key, and detail key, shift, and size it down. Click it now, enter, hold down, detail key, hold shift. And so we're down, we're getting out of our limit for oh, our videos. Um, well, I thank you guys for watching this video. It was a pretty good tutorial, and if I say so for myself, but we need to move to the Okay, so thank you guys for watching this video. Well, this need to move okay thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment, and comment and subscribe if you really helped you then please remember to share this i hope you guys enjoyed this video and